I'm John Richards, and this is The Morning Show on listener-powered KEXP. And without a doubt, we have one of the most creative, loud, and ba- best bands here in Seattle. Their brand new album is called Monolith, their name, Hobosexual, here on KEXP. It's all yours, fellas.
Wow. Man, at 9.30 a.m., no less. He hit that chord. Hope with Sexual bringing it here on this Monday morning. And uh, I, which of you would like to introduce the band? Anybody? Any volunteers? So, uh, someone who knows the names of all the band members would be my suggestion. Hey, Ben, <laughs> introduce the band. Put your headphones on. If you don't, then please don't even try. Uh, hey, John. Hey. Hey, Ben. Hey. Oh, yeah, John and John. Oh, there's many Johns here. Oh, all right. All oh, oh, right. Sorry. Uh, Johnny Henningsen, uh, vocals, guitar. Man, bringing it. Keith O'Neill, guitar, sound Thanks effects, rocket scientist. And uh, Dave Place, bass, rhymes with place. <laughs> and uh, Jeff Silva, drums. Good to see you all here. And oh, you? That's Jeff. I am Ben Harwood. <laughs> Good to see you all here early this morning. Monolith is the new release. And... Uh, I said, Monolith is a, a concept album. That's what you said on your Bandcamp site. Could you explain the concept? Yeah. Um, well, it's about, it's basically, it's just, uh, it's kind of the reaction I've been having the last couple of years to outrage culture. Mm -hmm. And it's not that I disagree with the topics of outrage culture, but I kind of feel like people are eating each other. <laughs> right. <laughs> and the album is kind of about losing your mind in the context of that. Um, and that's about it. it, it we, I try to take it, you know, key-wise, we tried to take it as a continuum. So it moves together and it kind of starts like total hair metal. <laughs> that would be the losing your mind part. And then right. it gets psychedelic and then it's kind of bittersweet at the end. So. Well, I like what you've done. It's, it's great. Everything, Thanks, everything I've been getting just sounds fantastic. And um, uh, the, by far the best promo items ever sent to me in all my years here, and, and I mean that, is from this band. I brought you one. I brought you a new one. <laughs> oh, good. Because <laughs> at number one is the Teddy Ruxpin promo. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, it, to this day is the most viewed anything I've ever posted, I think. <laughs> that was funny. Which was worth it because Morgan and I busted that out live. We had no idea what to expect. Yeah. It was great. And then number two was the, uh, was the action figure, which is my particular favorite. Yeah, man. That was, uh, was fun to make. <laughs> and it was uh, when you guys actually dropped off the, your action figure, I, don't, I can't remember which of you it was, but I was actually at Easy Street. Uh, and one of you were dropping it off to Matt. Yeah, it was me. It was it you? Yeah. And I yeah. saw it, I, and, I, and after you left, I said, let me see that. And I was blown away how cool that was. Yeah, uh, this year Sonic Boom gave us a window. So yeah. I made like an old school like uh, Montgomery Ward window display with like <laughs> blow mold Santa and the action figures and the posters. It's pretty sweet. Can, can you tell me, like, when you guys, it, when you're thinking of what to, to, to put together, it, you guys are so creative. Is it just, this is so effed up and will be great, let's do it. Is that, is that how the conversations are? Do you have, like, 20 different ideas in your head? Or? Yeah, a lot of it's kind of the Ernest Hemingway vibe. It's the, <laughs> nobody's done this before, I'm going to do it. And, yeah. like, we're kind of like, we might not do it right. It may not be the best, but let's be the first. Or let's try to come up, you know, let's try to just go for it and do right. it. So... Action figures were an insane amount of work. I mean, like, yeah. my wife almost killed me sewing the tiny clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we got it done, so. Mine looked like a, it was like Kurt Russell from... Uh, that one I just ripped straight up out of a reaction... That was sweet. ...action figure package. I was like, that's close enough. Yeah, that's sure. Sean. I'll take yeah. it. Um, uh, switching subjects a little bit, I, I know we had conversations about Chris Cornell, you yeah. know, when we were emailing about the record, and just, can you tell me what, what Chris meant to you and to well, the band? For me, I never, I've never ever prided myself to be a vocalist. I, I got into rock for guitar. That was mainly my main thing. But the first vocalist that really kind of like made me realize, wow, I would love to be able to do that was Chris. And that was just rolling around listening to like Bad Motor Finger and Super Unknown and, you know, that kind of stuff when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. um, and then I had a chance, Jeff and I had a chance to fly out and see Alan Johannes and work with him for a while. And he'd worked directly with Chris a lot. And Alan actually, it was really cool because he kind of worked with me on my existing range. And we found that some of the stuff that Chris does range-wise, we kind of fall into the same categories. So then I just started pushing myself from there for the next couple of years, and that's where we ended up on Monolith, you know, with wow. the, the crazy vocal stuff. So so it inspired you to, to yeah, and your vocals. and it really helped to have Alan show me what to do because it's like it's one thing to hear it and not really right. know how is he doing that, and then to have a guy that's worked with him show you here, you know, this is kind of, yeah. Um, you On your side as well, you talk about... Um, you calling yourselves the People's Band, which yeah. I love. It's, it sounds like a wrestling. It sounds like right out of. What was it? The People's Champion, or what's yeah. that? Yeah, can't remember. Anyway, the People's Band. Where does that come from? Uh, we just feel like you know we we both come from nothing, you know, and everything around us keeps like getting more expensive and more affluent, and you know, it's like that's just not really what I think a lot of people want. I think people just want to be able to forget themselves for a while and. 
we're just kind of scrappers, I guess. You know, that's what we're trying to get people to do is just relax and get everybody to just have fun. That's pretty much the goal, you know. And how was that last show, by the way, that, that we, I know we gave away tickets to it and presented it. And, it was uh, crazy. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Well, so the crocodile was like, it was like, it was like two full. People were like uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> we got complaints from like, you know, it was like, it's full. And Easy Street was really fun. That was the all ages release we did last weekend. That yeah. was rad. Was that good? No, co- no, freak, no complaints there? No, <laughs> that was just kids raging. So they're, they never, they're never going to complain about that. Well, I, what you guys are doing, I think, is some of the best, uh, best stuff coming out of this town. Thanks, so I dude. really appreciate the new record, Monolith. And um, uh, we have another one from it, the title track, right? Uh, yeah, Monolith. Cool. Yeah. All right. It's Hoposexual. They are live here on the morning show, if you're ready.
relax, amigo. You want to talk? We'll talk. I'm a sucker for good conversation. I forgot I was on a radio show here. <laughs> Holy crap, that was good. Homosexual live here on The Morning Show. Fellas, thanks for bringing it this morning. Man. Thanks, John. So good. So good. Monolith is the album. I can't recommend these guys live enough. And, uh, by the way, I should mention when we announced Timber uh, Music Festival, these guys were announced uh, January uh, 26th, I want to say, maybe 16th, 26th, one of those. Uh, Timber out in Leavenworth. Make sure to see these guys out. I can't think of anything better than Snow, Leavenworth, Homosexual. Just like just like the holidays with grandma. Uh, and Monolith again in the new album. That last song, by the way, VHS or Sharon Stone. Love what you played in here. Want to thank uh, everybody for listening to and supporting KEXP. Without you, there would be no sessions nor any KEXP. So thank you. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow, bright and early, 6 a.m. This is Listener Powered KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.